the Gobi Desert. 80 to 100 degrees by day, 60 to 70 degrees by night. Home to violent sandstorms during the hotter months, and only an occasional rainfall during the short wet season. It is also home to one of the most feared predators of the late Cretaceous period, the Oviraptor. Its name means egg thief, but this is really a misconception. The scientists who first found the first Oviraptor skeleton thought it was on top of a nest of eggs. They thought it was stealing the eggs, so they named it Egg Thief. In reality, it was actually guarding the eggs. The Oviraptor was 8 feet high and 9 feet long, making it slightly larger than the average adult human. It had a short tail, fast bird-like legs, and long arms. Its skull consisted of a large, unusual crest and a beak for crushing. It also had something not seen in any other dinosaur. Two teeth on the roof of its mouth. Oviraptors hunted alone but traveled in packs. <laughs> Mama Oviraptors laid eggs in a spiral two at a time. They had about 20 eggs in all. Parents were with the young all the time except when gathering food. Better go get some food. Here's dinner. There you go. The old raptors cared for the young until the young were old enough to care for themselves. You're so cute. As you can see, the other raptors laid their eggs clearly in a spiral. The eggs were about half the size of a football and laid in pairs. Hey, what you doing with my eggs? You get away from that! Ah, I'll hit you! Oh, 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 oh! Uh, the other raptor sucks you came for. Yeah. It's a. Uh, but wait, oh no, a predator is coming! Rah! Oh! Rah! Luckily, the Oviraptor has three inch long claws on its three fingered hands and large toes on its three fingered feet with which to fend off predators. Thanks to its human like size, it could easily ward off most foes. Good job, Oviraptor! It's time for a geography lesson with everyone's favorite Jedi Master, Yoda! Mmm, very good! Now, Oviraptor resides in the Gobi Desert in Mongolia, Central Asia. Yes! <laughs> the Oviraptor was warm-blooded, meaning it could maintain a constant body temperature. It ate several things such as eggs, insects, and plants. It had a hard beak adapted for crushing things such as eggs or insects with hard shells. It also had long, grasping claws which with, to, with which to pick up its prey. As far as grass exchange goes, it had lungs in its chest and two nasal passages below the crest with which to breathe. Let's hope this Oviraptor can find something to bring into the table. Yeah. Huh. What's yeah. this? It looks like the Oviraptor has found something. You dig it up, Oviraptor. Yeah. It's a beetle! Crush it with your beak! Hurry! Crack, 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 crack. Mmm, that mushy inside sure is good, isn't it, Oviraptor? Well, you bring that home to the youngins. See you later. But alas, we'll reach the final chapter of our grand Oviraptor's quest of life. Now, you're probably wondering how I, the Oviraptor, died out. Well, it's a long story. What? Hey, what's that? It's a bird! It's a plane! We don't even have planes yet! What is it? Oh my gosh, it's a meteor! Ah, it's gonna wipe out all intelligent life on Earth! Wait. Is that all that happened? I survived? I am immortal dinosaur! <coughs> oh no! It's a giant dust cloud! It's going to destroy us all! Oh no! Oh my gosh! Goodbye, cruel world! Goodbye, my lovely eggs! I cherished you so! Mmm! <coughs> backstage we are! On scene of the Oviraptor Zone! Mmm! Do you know what time it is? No! It's time for... Fun Facts with Yoda! Yay! Yes! Yay! Alright, let's get started. Mmm, as you can see in this picture, the Oviraptor was very bird-like. It created a nest and laid eggs in a spiral, much like birds of today. Yes! Notice the claws on the Oviraptor's long fingers. 
very good for grasping prey. In this photograph, the oviraptor has feathers. Scientists have no evidence that this was true, but some people believe it. Mm, consider it. Mm, in this picture, prime example we have of oviraptor using grasping beak to hold prey. Mm, mm, what do we have here? Mm, it looks as if this is a picture of the oviraptor with feathers. Let's list the bird-like characteristics. Mm, scale teeth. Mm, long grasping claws. And a hard pea for crushing seeds. And a long tail. Mm, mm, here we have prime example of oviraptor embryo in egg. Mm, just like birds, oviraptor laid lots of eggs. Oh, he is very cute. More connection. And finally, a nice picture of the oviraptor skull. Notice, you will, the crest on its head. Mmm, nasal passages, can you see? Yes. Thank you for watching. Yoda is big time special feature backstage. See you later.